Hi everyone, Martin here from martinsmayhem.blogspot.com. I hope you are well. So today's card is going to be showcasing a different way of using designer series paper. So as you can see here, these flowers are created using the Tea Room DSP. And as you can see, I've just hacked into this piece of DSP to cut out these flowers and these little accents to create a slightly interesting card. That you can see here so it does take some time to do um, and I did have to bring in my scalpel to cut into these little tiny bits however I think the effect is worth it personally the sentiment I'm using is from the very varied varied hard speak a varied vase stamp set and it's a hope in your day blooms with happiness so you just got that coordination between the flowers and the sentiment. So let's move that out of the way. And move the card to the top corner. So I am starting with a piece of Wisp White Thick Cardstock cut into a standard C6 size. And I've got a strip of basic black here and that measures two centimetres. And what I've done is I've just stamped that sentiment in First mark and heat set that in white and that's just going to sit on our card like so. Okay, so I'm going to grab my snail adhesive, just run that across the back. So you probably notice that this strip is a hell of a lot longer than the card base itself and that's just so I know I can place this maybe more this way and still have room, maybe more this way or in the middle, and I can just snip off the extra bits. So, where did I place it on this one? Have I just line that up like so. Make sure the sentiment's on the card. And then just make sure that this is straight. Come down here. And then just secure that down like so. And then when I lift this up, turn it round, I can just use the sides of the card base to snip away the basic black. Okay, so there you have the sentiment ready and in place. So, again, what I've done is I've already cut down some of the designer series paper, so you didn't have to sit there agonisingly watching me do it. Um, and I've already pre-dimensioned these and just stuck it to a piece of cellophane, just so I can lift it up so you don't have to see me pulling off all the little backs of dimensionals. However, with this one, I can you can see I've done half already and I've left half off because what you see here is I've cut this bit off here and used it here. So we're gonna attach this to the card and then we're gonna snip it off as we did earlier with the sentiment. So as I said, this is a really time-consuming card, just purely because of the fact that it is a rather intricate design. You could quite easily replace these flower, flower plants with stamped flowers, or other flower, floral DSB. It's completely dependent on you and your own style. However, I know I wanted to make the most of this design and designer series paper before it disappears. So I'm just going to bring in some more dimensionals. So down here, I haven't attached any, so I can just pop one there. And just secure that down. So if I turn, turn this round, we can see that I'm going to be chopping off this little bit here. And that's going to be used here on the, on the card. 
So I'm just going to follow my line and just take it right up to the edge. And that's going to hold as one piece because I haven't cut through this little bit here. And I'm just going to now fill this side with dimensionals. So one there, one there. This one there. This is definitely the most tedious part. And then all I'm going to do is find roughly where I want it and line that up. With the edge of my card, like so. So you're not going to waste any type, any element of this card because you can snip off, add on, however much or however little you want. So just peeling this off now. I did, didn't work as well as I first thought it might. No. And as that didn't work as well as I thought, just gonna pop some more back on. Peel the backs off. And then I'm just gonna use this. Here. just to fill out some of the empty space so like I said along the top have some more floral design and then taking the other little bit I'm just going to place this along the bottom again just to fill out that space like so so this is how I was initially going, going to leave the card however I felt there was a lot of empty space which is fine because there's a lot of detail in the flowers which is why I just want, wanted to go for something really subtle in these little dots so to do that all I did was grab my journaling pen and I used the 01 and I'm literally just going to do some random dots not in any particular order try to keep it as random as possible Oh, I'm trying not to do a line. And so, something I could do there and there. And there you have it. So it's a super subtle detail, which you can include or you don't have to. But I like how it just fills that space slightly. Let's move that over. And there you have today's card. I hope you enjoyed today's card. Why not pop into the description bar below where a full list of the items used are available, as well as links to my online shop where you can purchase them. While, while you're down there, like, comment and subscribe. And why not share to your social media so everybody can see how super quick and easy it is to make such a fabulous card as this. I hope you enjoyed it. See you around. Bye.